Welcome back to the channel. Guys, I'm working on my car, Lexus SC430, 2005 model. I already made another video about how to uh, fix, repair the, the speakers, the door speakers. Uh, however, I have done the repair. Uh, like I said, I made another video on YouTube. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. And uh, I did that last year but still the speakers really you know they're not holding up their sound quality is really bad this one to the left is vibrating a little bit so i've decided to replace the speakers and uh, i'm going to take the speakers out i have purchased uh six by nine speakers three-way six by nine speakers kicker uh, I hope they fit in the door. I have never tried this before. So I'm going to do this. Let you guys know how it sounds, if it's going to work, if it's going to sit in that bracket. And uh, we're going to test it and go from there. Uh, again, if you want to know how I took the door panel off, watch my other video, please. It's very simple. There are a few, few items you need to take off, as you can see here. The controller for the you know windows and doors uh, a few little plastic bracket the cover right here and there are a total of like five or six screws inside that you need to uh, unscrew and basically you pull the panel up window must be all the way down i learned it actually the hard way last time uh, window make sure the window is all the way down take all the screws out like I said, watch my video and then pull, once the panel is loose, panel is loose, pull the panel up a little bit. You know, pull it out a little bit and then up and you can just release it. And as you can see, uh, you know, there, there is one door light cable that I released or disconnected. Uh, I'm not going to touch this one, which is for the handle to uh, unlock the door from inside. That's why I kind of have this panel hanging like this. And the second cable that I released was this cable. I think it's going to uh, uh, to this controller. Uh, somehow related to uh, maybe the door locks or the controllers for the windows or doors. Anyhow, I'm going to take this speaker out, test it, put the new one in test it and see what happens also one more thing as far as these speakers these are eight ohm speakers they are extremely expensive brand new from the dealer you they charge you arm and a leg like some ridiculous money three four five hundred bucks last time i checked and uh, i don't want to go with the original uh, oem speakers if you want to do that you know it's up to you eight ohm speakers are kind of pricey and difficult to find uh so i don't have eight ohm speakers i have four ohm speakers i know uh i know the entire setup in in this car is eight ohm and the ampli you know the amp and everything else is all controlled for a specific eight ohm speaker but i'm going to try four ohm uh because i have asked some experts in this field and it shouldn't really matter the sound quality may drop a little bit but it's going to sound much better than what i already have i mean right now it sounds like crap especially with these torn speakers and uh, they, they just sound terrible so again like i said we're going to test it see how it is and uh let you guys know all right so i have the speaker out just uh to show you guys how to take it out they're basically four screws four big screws around the corner of the speaker and you just release uh, this cable as you can see this cable you just release it the trick is you gotta push you gotta push this pin inside make sure you push this pin in and pull it out that's it and uh, 
As you can see, the back of the speaker, again, looks like a 6x9 uh, speaker. I just have to, same process, I have to get this part out. Okay. And then uh, release this speaker and you got to, oops, sorry. Release the, you know, same process, you got to push this pin on this side, uh, switch the speaker, solder these two cables so you can use this cable back in. Solder the cables to the new uh, to the new speaker. And uh, just in case if you need the model number of these junks, here's the model number. Like I said, they're pretty pricey if you get it from the dealer. And the thing is, the dealer doesn't order brand new one for you from the factory. They have these speakers sitting on the shelf since, you know, 2005, 2006. So most likely that rubber uh, is already damaged. So even if you get, you think you're getting a brand new one, you're not. So let's replace this and test it. All right, guys, this is the six by nine speakers that I purchased kicker model DSC 6930 and here is the end result so you can see look at the difference uh, comes with the cover you can remove the cover but look at this again I have to put it in connect it and listen of course but uh, just the look of it is like beautiful and so much heavier and I was, you know, I already installed it with two screws and it's sitting perfectly fine in this case. I'm going to turn it around, check out the magnet. Check out the magnet on, on this thing. Again, it's a heavy speaker. I just put it here so I can compare. I'm sure these were good speakers at some point back in 15, 20 years ago, but look at the difference. Anyway, I'm going to take the cable out, connect it to this one, solder it, and go from there. Plug it in, test it, see how it sounds. Check this out, guys. I just installed this, tested, and first of all, it fits perfect. <clears throat> and uh, sound is amazing. Sound is so much better. There is more bass. There is more depth into sound. Again, these speakers are not really that expensive. It was like around 100 bucks for, for two of them. And I also installed, you know, the controller just to make sure the, the magnet is not going to interfere or hit the glass. I did the test. It works just fine. No issues. Windows go... Uh, the, the glass goes up and down on the window. So again, I just <clears throat> have it mounted in here with, uh, uh, with all the screws. Did the sound test. Sounds amazing. Again, these are 4 ohm speakers, not 8 ohm, but it's not really going to impact. I know the original speakers are 8 ohm, but uh, you know, it's up to you guys. If you want to get rid of the old speakers, put new speakers, better speakers, have better sound in this beautiful car, go with these kickers. Not not uh, too expensive. It won't break the bank or your wallet and sounds great. I'm going to put, put this all together and do the other door. And hopefully I can put some kind of music for you guys to for testing. I, don't, I, I think YouTube is kind of picky about music, but anyhow. I'm going to move, uh, move to the next door.